Hi everyone, this is the chapter 2. I'll talk about probability. Okay, so this chapter is divided into five sections. First of all, I'll start with the definition about probability, then independent sets, conditional probability, total probability, and finally I'll end up with the Bayes rule. So first of all, I'll start with the definition of probability. As stated in the lecture notes, it's equal okay, to the ratio number of the favorable outcomes divided by okay, the total number of outcomes, which means that, for example, if I want to calculate the probability of A, it's equal to the cardinality of A divided by cardinality of omega. I start from the beginning. I have a statistical experiment. A statistical experiment has a number of outcomes. Okay, the members, all the members or the element, elements of the outcomes should be collected within one set, within the universal set, which was, which we call it the sample, okay, sample space. Okay, then we have a subset of the sample space A, B, C, and we can have some more also. So these are subset of omega, we call them, okay, events of omega. events of omega okay each event has a cardinality okay so the probability of each event is equal to its cardinality divided by the cardinality of the sample space this is a generic formula of probability okay and uh, we have to note also that the probability of each event must must be a value between 0 and 1 it can't be greater than 1 and it can't be negative value less than 0 it has to be a value between okay 0 and 1 we note also that the probability of empty set is equal to the cardinality of empty set which is equal to 0 equal to 0 divided by omega equal to 0 okay and uh, we note also that if we have uh, two sets or subsets or events a and B are these joints, or we call them also, or mutually exclusive, which means the intersection between them is equal to empty set. Okay, it means also that the pro its probability is equal to zero. That can be equivalent. What I meant by this note is if we asked to uh, demonstrate that two sets are disjoints or mutual exclusive, we can do it by two ways. Okay, either we find the probability of intersections equal to zero, then they are disjoints, or we go immediately to demonstrate the intersection is equal to empty. Empty, then it's uh, mutual exclusive. Then they are mutual exclusive sets. Okay, so I go now to the second. Uh, or first, I want. To address the proper uh, the properties of probability that I mentioned also in the lecture notes, okay, probability of omega, the sample space, the probability of the sample space always equal to to one, okay, always equal to one. Probability of empty is equal to zero, okay, and an important formula, probability of union. Of two sets or two events it's equal to sum of probabilities okay minus probability of intersection okay so this is an important okay formula we may use it somewhere if we ask for okay and finally the complement the probability of a complement set let's say we have event a its complement it's a bar which is equal to omega minus a which means for example if omega equal 1 2 3 4 5 6 let's say a equal 1 2 3 so the complement of a in omega a bar omega minus a okay this is omega this is a okay I take out all the elements from omega 1 2 3 so I cross 1 2 3 so the rest is 4, 5, 6, so which means it's equal to 4, 5, 6, okay? The probability of A bar is probability of omega minus probability of A. 
probability of omega minus probability of a and we know that probability of omega is equal to 1 so we can put it immediately 1 minus probability of a if we have probability of b bar it's equal 1 minus probability of b okay and so and so on okay so this is the probability of complement complement set so I will go now to the second part or second section which is independent sets okay independent sets okay always we have simple space we have subset okay we say about and a and b independent if probability of intersection equal the product of probabilities okay so if I have two sets and we ask to see if they are independent or not I have to demonstrate or to verify this formula probability of intersection equal to probability of a times probability of b how can I do it so I calculate probability of intersection aside say for example it's equal to x and the product of these two probabilities say for example equal to y if they are equal then we can say that a and b are independent okay this is how to show that a and b are independent i have already gave an, uh, an example okay in the lecture notes about uh, tossing a coin twine uh, twice and uh, i answer all the questions questions about this exercise so i go next to conditional probability section three conditional probability so this part is a bit different from from the above notes okay so in this case say always we have set omega to events a and b okay but with conditional probability it can uh, we can note from notice from uh, its name conditional it must be a condition between two events okay so it must be an event occurred before another so if i said condition probability between a and b if i write it in this way it means probability of a given b what does it mean given b uh, this mean it means that uh, event b must occur first to obtain the probability of a okay so a depends on b if b occurred so we can find the probability of a all right so the formula for it is probability of intersection okay divided by probability of the right hand side event okay probability of b so same thing for if probability b given a it means that a occurred first then i calculate the probability of b okay this one equal always on the top is the intersection and then later is the right the right hand side okay p a okay we note that p a given b is different than p b a b p b given a okay but we can notice also that here there's an intersection intersection the intersection should be equal so probability of intersection equal p a b times b b probability of intersection equal p b a times p a okay so we can note this formula here write this formula p a given b times p b so always we divide or we uh, we multiply by the right hand side event okay equal p b a times p a okay so we obtain it from the intersection this one is the intersection from first formula and this one is the intersection from the second formula okay this one the second this one the first okay uh, remark that if a and b are independent okay if a and b are independent which means probability of intersection is equal to product of probabilities that's right okay so if i go refer if we refer to the first formula if i want to write it again p a 
given b its probability of intersection divided by the right hand side event so if a and b are independent means that uh, prob probability of intersection equal product of probabilities so i can replace it here probability of a times probability of b divided by pb so i can simplify so it's equal pa okay so if they are okay both okay are independent okay so the result should be as following so pa slash b equal pa and pb slash a equal pb if they are okay independent okay now i will move to section four okay which is the total probability total probability total probability is related to the conditional probability in another way say for example if i have omega okay there is omega is a set and i have a subset okay for example uh, subset say it's uh, b okay and I'm ha i have another subset okay a1 a2 a n sorry a n okay if the event b depends on a1 a2 till a n so to find the probability of b i have to have okay it depends on a1 a2 and a3 a n sorry so in this case the total probability of b okay depends on a1 it means b intersection between b and a1 plus a2 okay b intersection with a2 until p b intersection with a n okay why i put intersection because intersection means end okay b uh, depends on a1 so probability of b and a1 b and a2 a n okay so if i want to replace it by the formula okay this formula this is the probability of intersection okay so i can put it in this way probability of b slash a1 times b a1 plus probability of b a n b a n so this is a total the total probability of of b okay b depends on a1 a2 a n sometimes in an example we may have for example only two sets it means b depends on two sets a and c for example so it has to be for example b a and b c so i have to do the sum of only two parts of e okay there is one condition i explain it also in the lecture notes about this the collection of these sets they must form a partition of omega okay i gave, I gave a definition about what is a partition if I have a collection of sets or events or subsets of omega, we can say that this collection forms a partition of omega if they satisfy two conditions. I can write it in this way A, I, I between 1 and n. So this notation okay, means this one A1, A2. So I put it A, I and I between 1 and n. I can say that this collection forms partition okay of omega if they are satisfied to, if they satisfy two conditions the first okay so the intersection ben, between any two of them should equal to empty ai intersection with aj should be equal to empty which means, for example, A1, the intersection between A1 and A2 should be empty. A2 and A3, A1 and A3, all of them, between the, the intersection between two, uh, any couple should be empty, okay, for I different to J. 
and the union for all of them, I mean A1, union A2, union A3, union AN, okay, should be equal to omega. Okay, so if they are, if they form a partition of omega, okay, in this case I can use them with the total probability of B. Okay, so I can't use them immediately. I have first to show that A1, A2, AN form a partition of omega, then I can write the total probability of B in function of A1, A2, AN. Okay, in the exercise, okay, we mention it. Okay, so I mentioned there's a collection of uh, uh, subsets or events that form a partition. If not, for example, I can ask in the question one, show that this collection is partition, and I can ask about the total probability in the following questions. Okay, so I gave you the note and how to find it. All right, so the total probability, uh, I, I have to use it also in base rule. So base rule, which is the last part of our last se section of this of this chapter, okay. Uh, Bayes' rule is a way, okay, is a mathematical formula used for calculating conditional probabilities, okay. So in another way, for example, if I want to calculate the probability of A i slash B, okay, it's normally it's equal, okay, to the intersection between the top divided by okay the total probability so I can write it in this way so I switch them it's P B slash A I for example here there's A I so I multiply it by P A I so in the bottom here the denominator I write the total probability of B because it must be Condition probability must be divided by the right hand side, PB. And PB is equal to this value. So I'll write it again. Okay. P, B slash A1, PA1, okay, until the end. Okay. So this is a formula for, uh, formula for base rule. There is some, uh, sometimes there is a special case. For example, if I have a subset B, okay. And I have two subsets, A, A, and, and A bar. Okay, I show that, I already uh, mentioned this example in the lecture notes. A and A bar form a partition. Why? Because the intersection between a set and its complement is equal to empty. Okay? And the union between them, this, uh, it's a property, uh, okay? It's a properties of uh, sets. The union of them is equal to omega means a and a bar form partition of omega in this case okay i can write okay the probability okay of b okay in function of them all right so for example probability of a slash b it can be written by this way probability of b slash a times P A divided by P B slash A P A plus P B slash A bar P A bar. Okay, the denominator here is the total probability of B. Okay, can see we can see here that B depends on A and depends on A bar. Why I can use it in this way because A and A bar A bar are form a partition of omega okay so uh, i uh, gave uh, already an example in the lecture notes so you can understand it and use this uh, short video okay to solve the exercises sheet exercise sheet two okay thank you